Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Code Heroes. So today in this video we are going to make a penalty game. In this game we have to shoot some penalties and we have to gain as much as score as possible. So let's start to make this game. So first of all you have to install Scratch 3 from Microsoft Store. Or I have given the link to this app in the description you can download it from there too the next thing is that you have to do all the setup and sign in and then now let's begin with sprite so you have to go over here and choose a sprite we need four sprites which are added because our pedal then we need a stalker bomb which is this then we need line then last one is button so Next thing is that we have to add a backdrop to our game or else a background to our game. We have to choose a backdrop and we have to search football and you have to take this one. Now let's just drag our line down here, our paddle down here, football about the paddle. And we have to resize this button at the size of our goal. So click on the button, go to costumes, you can delete this one. Then what you have to do is just delete this background one. And then we have to make this long horizontally. So just do like this and then you can change the size from here you have to do as per your need okay. so this is our button and now let's just add a color to it go with the blue one and just select the plain one lots of things you can do with scratch for now we'll do only this much See, done. So we have done this setup. Now let's just start with the coding. So go back to your paddle and go to events and just drag this one. Uh, when flag click means this button starts our game. So whenever the game starts we want our paddle to reset its position to here so we will just quickly go to motion and then set x to see uh, we can get this details over here set x to 0 which is correct and then we need to change set y to 152 then see uh, scratch coding is based on java so if you know java then it won't be difficult for you or else just keep copying what i am doing and you will learn eventually what to do go to forever and then just drag if then so if now we have to do the control setup so if just a second so if I to drag this over in this box so if left arrow is pressed so our paddle if left key is pressed so our paddle should move to left so we will type change x by 
minus 10 so this is the line over here it's all minus over here it's all plus so we should add minus over here and then we have to again add a if message over here again if left arrow is pressed then we need to move our paddle over here so we will go again in motion change y by 10 so that's all our paddle work is done so we will move now to soccer ball we need to type three codes over here to control again when game is started we again need to reset the position of our ball so we go to motion set x to go to 0 the ball is in the middle and set y to minus 50 We have to do the same with the battle actually. Set y to minus 50 so it's properly aligned. Then, then again, if we, uh, control forever and then again in if then if if the ball is touching now we have to do the controls for the ball. So if So if the ball is touching the paddle then we have to turn the ball 210 degrees so the ball just is, doesn't just go up and down we have to do it right and left so the game becomes more interesting so go to motion and turn you want to 210 degrees then uh, we need to do move 10 steps for this move so that the ball moves ahead if we don't do this the ball will stay in its position and then wait for 0 0.5 seconds otherwise game will get crumbled that's all one code is done uh, also we have to add a variable make variable number of goals a variable is done next thing is we have to do is well again when game is started, just move it. We need to set our goal to zero again, otherwise, it will show the number of goals on the previous one. Second code is done. The third one is that again, controls. When game is started so now uh, this was about the paddle means when the ball will touch paddle then what should happen now we have to do the normal ones like normally how should the ball move so we have to, to go and lots of codes over here so even I am I get confused a lot of times so we need to do this 30 degree like in this direction the ball will move again move 10 steps it's important otherwise the ball will stay in its position then again forever move now what if the ball touches the edge then we have to do it again 
have moved 10 steps and if one edge bounce simple so our code for soccer ball is complete now for the line so whenever the ball touches this red line our game should stop again control when game is started forever if and then then if touching the soccer ball if the line touches the soccer ball touching here we select soccer ball sorry if i see the names over here wrong but you can check it by the color uh, so this is dark orange then you can get it over here in dark orange then we need to do stop all okay. done we don't know why it's going but it should work fine then goes with the button when the ball touches the button that is the goal our variable should change by one again events the game is started control forever again if and then so if this button touches the soccer ball then change goal by one our point will get added and then we have to add again wait 0.5 second so our game will get tumbled so that's all our game is ready let's just check See. So our right click is not working fine. Let's just check it quickly. Okay. Oh, my bad. We have to yeah, we have done here change Y by 10 which means it will go upwards. We have to do it again, change X Y. Then now it should perfectly work fine. See now the goal is zero. Once we start, it should become zero. See? Perfect. So that was for this video guys. I hope you like this video. If you like please like share comment the video. You can also comment me if you have different ideas. I have given this file in the description link. So you can download this file from there. So that's all for this guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you.